One of the great things about drones that weigh under 250 grams is that you don't have as many regulations to worry about when you fly your drone. For example, here in Canada, you can fly a drone that weighs under 250 grams without having to go and get a license, a certificate in order to fly. You can basically just get the drone, learn how to fly it, go out and fly it, and you don't have to worry about jumping through all the hoops that you need to jump through with heavier drones. And that's a great thing. So a lot of people are into flying 250 gram or under 250 gram drones because it's easy. It's a great way to get into the hobby and not worry about going through all the hoops of, uh, of flying. Now, all of that is good, but there is a problem with drones that weigh under 250 grams. And in this video, I'm going to talk about this problem and propose a solution for it. So welcome back. So what's the problem with drones weighing under 250 grams? They're great. They're great because they allow us to fly in, in ways that we wouldn't be able to fly otherwise with heavier drones. And they make it so much easier for us to go out there and learn how to fly drones. They basically open up the market to people who would otherwise not bother because of all the hoops they have to go through in order to get into the hobby. Well, I love flying my uh, Mini 2. I really do love it and it's, it's a great drone, but sometimes I like to fly it this way with a couple of additional things on the drone. For example, um, I have a gimbal guard, which I like to put on in order to protect the gimbal. I also have these landing gear things that I 3D printed, and they're very helpful. They're very helpful because, you know, I can land the drone in grass that's a little higher than normal. Um, it's easier to catch the drone by by hand. Um, and, and generally it just makes things a lot easier uh, when you're when you're flying. And um, I'm also thinking of putting an LED light on the drone. So the problem with all of this is that while some of these add-ons actually enhance safety, they also make the drone heavier than 250 grams. So all of a sudden, the drone weighs um, something that is in a whole different category. And then you have to, of course, go through the hoops of registering the drone, the drone or getting a certificate to fly it. And for me, this is a problem. It's a problem when the 250 gram limit is so strict that even one gram above 251 grams puts you in a completely different category. I think there's an easy solution to this, um, but I, I know people are, are going to say mm, it's not possible. Th th these uh, regulations are there for a purpose. They're, they're strict for a reason. And I have no doubt that uh, it probably will never change. But in my mind, there is a very easy solution uh, to allowing people to actually put some add-ons on the drone, like for example, an LED light. So if I just bought an LED light and I put it on this drone, it would actually bring it over 250 grams. My solution is, is simple. Basically, the government could change the rules so that there is a weight limit between 250 grams and let's say 280 grams. I'm just picking a number off the top of my head. So there's that 30 gram uh, kind of flexibility. If your drone weighs anything between uh, 250 grams and 280 gra grams, 
you don't have to register the drone. That way you can actually put things on the drone like a landing gear or a gimbal guard or an LED light or whatever else you want to put on the drone that will enhance safety. I think it's a great solution. It doesn't have to be exactly 250 grams. It could be anything between 250 grams and let's say 280 grams. It's not going to make the drone less safe. The drone is going to be just as safe. Um, it's not going to make the drone more dangerous if you add a few grams to the drone. Um, especially if you're trying to enhance safety, which of course is what you're doing if you're putting on an LED light. Now, just to deal with uh, some of the uh, objections, I know what people are going to say. Um, if you make the top limit 280 grams, then manufacturers are going to start making drones that weigh 280 grams. All of a sudden, the door is open to make uh, heavier drones and add all sorts of other things to the drones. No, no. The way I would uh, make the rule is this. Manufacturers are limited to making drones up to 250 grams. If the drone weighs more than 250 grams uh, out of the box, the way it's made in the factory, then it is in the category of an over 250 gram drone. However, if the drone out of the box weighs less than 250 grams, but you decide to modify it a little bit as a user by putting on, let's say, the landing gear or the gimbal guard or an LED light or whatever, and it's slightly above 250 grams, it's still considered a under 250 gram drone. So the user has the flexibility of adding a few things to it, but the manufacturer still has that 250 gram limit. I think that would make it really, you know, uh, a great way to allow users to, to mod their drone a little bit or to put some stuff on the drone that will enhance the drone and yet not require them to go through the process of getting a certificate or doing a test or doing all the things that uh, is typically required of um, heavier drones. Anyway, that's my idea. It's just a simple idea. Uh, there are probably reasons why it won't work. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I would love to hear from you if you have a reason why you don't think it'll work. Uh, I'd love to know what it is. Uh, if you think it's a good idea, tell me why you think it's a good idea. Uh, again, if you think it's a terrible idea, tell me why you think it's a terrible idea. I'm open to um, your input. But it's just a, a thought that I had um, because I have heard people say that as good as under 250 gram drones are, the biggest problem with them is that they are limited by that 250 gram limit. It is so strict and uh, uncompromising. And in my opinion, it should just be a little more compromising, a little more flexible. That way it will allow people to um, put things on the drone, which will probably enhance the drone and make it safer, but at the same time not require the person to go out and uh, jump through the hoops of getting a license, doing a test, all that stuff that we all love to do. Anyway, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and um, I'll see you soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.